Good morning guys, welcome back to the vlog. Last night we spent 24 hours in our horse trailer and it was fun. I got a little bit wet, but I had to pee a lot and I froze. But it was really fun. Don't forget to check out the video. Good morning guys and welcome to uh, another day of summer hair. This is my summer hair. It is the hair that gets done when I have so many fun things to do that I can't spend time on my hair. Molly comes to whistling now. Let's see, prove it, go back by the door. Prove it, Sam! <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't me that whistled, try again. Girl. All right, let me whistle. Girl. Go back there, so. <laughs> Good girl! Do you know how to whistle, Sophie? Go over there and whistle, you whistle like me. Go over there. I can't whistle. Okay, try. I can't whistle. Keep trying. Wait, is there a whistling device thing? Um, Good girl. I found this. Good girl, Molly. You found that? Somebody yeah, gave it to you for Christmas? I think Easter. No, it was I think for Christmas. And no. it was your aunt. Easter. At Easter we I were- I got lots of chocolate. Yeah, At yeah, Easter yeah. we were locked in. Every day I tell Gabby, put her leash on when you go outside and every day she forgets. And the reason is, the other day Sam and I were outside with her and what went by, a motorcycle? Yeah, a motorcycle. A motorcycle went by and she was with us on the grass, far from the road, and she turned around and it had her attention and she was getting ready to chase that motorcycle and we called her and she clicked out of that that she clicked out of her trance and she came running over to us but it's not going to be long before she is going to be chasing motorcycles so definitely need to do that so i don't know if you guys can tell a difference molly's getting so much bigger she's going this week today's monday she's going this week to get her shots and we are really excited about that i showed you guys yesterday that it was 27 degrees let's go look and see what the temperature is today it rained in the night and then it got it got super cool. So today is 14 degrees. 27 down to 14 overnight it is really chilly, kind of cold, but that's okay. Today's the day that we're gonna get a bunch of stuff done around our little farm. I wanna show you what Sam and I worked on yesterday. So this is our pool. This is the pool that we are gonna put up this year. Even though we have a trailer at the beach, and a pool seems like it'd be a lot of work. I don't know why. I thought that we weren't gonna be able to go to the beach this summer. I thought Corona was gonna shut it down. We bought the pool, boom, Corona's done. So that was the pool, and this is the home for the pool. So Sam and I spent a bunch of time yesterday cleaning out this area. It's kind of a big area. It's adjacent to our mare field. You guys can see the grass is growing. And we are going to be putting the girls into this big section soon. But for now, and for today, we're going to work on this pool. We've been slowly moving logs out of here, over to there. But we're going to level out this area right here, and we're going to set up our pool. And then we'll have all this grass area to put chairs, lounge chairs, and stuff. It might not be perfect, but it's ours. It's supposed to be really, really, really hot by next weekend. My plan is to put the pool up when it's cool out so we don't die and have it ready for when it's really hot out. dirt everywhere yeah it is scorching now I don't know but it doesn't matter what the temperature is if you're working hard you're gonna be hot so uh, this is kind of the rough outline of our pool you guys can see I'm helping with that that's about the circumference of it we're get, trying to get some foundation some footing down for it shoveling dirt is really exhausting though like I'm covered in mud and I am beat and I've only did about five barrels of dirt I want you guys to know that 
any single little thing you do on your property or on your farm it takes blood sweat and tears man because i feel like crying that's how hard it is sam and the girls are working on it, getting the pool ready i'm working on getting all the dirt over so while we do that sophie has been picking dandelions what a waste of time you're thinking so um in the past we have taken all the dandelions during dandelion season and we've made dandelion pop and the girls have told me that they want to do this again and i'm super excited i know i have some bottles in the basement i think that we're going to use to make dandelion pop and i'm super excited and we're going to show you guys how you do it many hours later Gabby is swimming <laughs> in the pool Wait. that's the ladder she's fixing it all getting it ready for the water I love it she's gonna have to do it again when we put the water actually in because it's gonna just blow is there any low spots huh? any low spots no uh, right yeah. here so that's how many people could fit in this pool that's how many gabby's could fit in this pool no probably six swimming. people not while swimming i take up all the room molly come on do you think we're gonna put molly in this pool yes we actually have a little dog life jacket that's super cute we've used it in the past for our chihuahuas um the best way that we found to teach a dog to swim though is to be like on a beach where they can run in chase sticks and run in and out and kind of get used to it on their own level like a little bit at a time but um definitely she'll be swimming in this pool at some point all right so this is it the empty box pretty soon our pool is gonna look this gorgeous there's gabby in the box all right we are headed into town to get a treat because yeah it was brutal putting in the pool is brutal spending that much like i don't know if it's just me but when you work with your family it doesn't always go well always go well. Sophie, did you enjoy putting up the pool? No. Why? Because people. It was a lot of work, a lot of arguing, but we got it done. We got it done. We got it done together and we're going to enjoy that pool together. We're going to have a treat, go home and finish filling it up. Look at all that yummy stuff. Look at it all. I want it all. I love ice cream. Ice cream is my favorite food. Look at that. Yeah. I think this is the chocolate one. Mine? I think so. I don't know. They didn't tell us. Dairy Queen redid their sizes and we always get a medium. And the last time we got a medium, it was so tiny. Like up to here, it was a medium. And then, so this time we ordered large. It's this this is medium. This is large. This is the old medium. Oh, let me see. Okay, it's a bit embarrassing that this, this the cup from the last time we came a long time ago is still in our car. This is the difference. This is the difference in size. We're in the part of building the pool where we need somebody to get in and help with the water. And we were coming home from Dairy Queen. We said, all right, who wants to help dad put the water in the pool and who wants to help mom bring in all the stuff from the trailer? If you didn't see the video last night, we slept in the trailer, the horse trailer, and we still have to bring in all of our mattress and our blankets. And Sophie, being the youngest one, said, oh, I'm gonna help dad with the pool. And so we said, yeah, okay, like we'll just let her choose. So. Gabby and I were getting ready to go out to the trailer to bring the stuff in. And Sophie comes walking into the house and she says, Gabby, you have to go help dad. I'm afraid to get into the pool. And then when she realized that we hadn't brought any stuff in from the trailer yet, she's like, forget it. I'm going back down. I'm going to face my fears. <laughs> what? Oh, that's cool! <laughs> that is cool! 
Come on. Don't get wet. Oh, great. You're all dirty. Oh, my goodness. Our water's already dirty. It's okay. Grab my AirPods, Mama. Yeah. Mama, my AirPods! <laughs> These are not for you to eat. Side out here. Yes. No! <laughs> we should put Molly in there. Can we? Not yet. It's, it's literally really cold outside, and the plan is that when it finally gets warm very soon, the pool will be ready for us. And just so you guys know, Sophie did not have ice cream. I did not. She did not have ice cream. Sophie is so much funnier than you guys ever get to see. She always saves it when I turn the camera off. The thing she says cracks me up so much. So this is the carnage of last night's video. <laughs> Sophie is like the messiest kid. She tried to pee in the bucket but missed. And Gabby and I slept up there if you guys didn't see the video. You probably already all saw the video, but if you didn't, go check it out. It was so much fun. What was your favorite part of that last night, for real? Before we went to bed. The I fire? My new movie. Oh. Molly! It's true. It's like everybody's like, family is amazing. But the times when I have like to myself and I'm just watching my own movie or reading my own book, I kind of like those times. <gasps> oh, there have been a couple of times this week. Where I've been like, I think I'm going to send my kids back to school. I've never thought that in years. For the last couple of weeks, I've kind of felt like that. So uh, before Gabby and I take all this stuff inside, I want to tell you guys that I, I appreciate all your comments. And um, a post about us quitting YouTube is never my intention to quit YouTube. Obviously, it's going to happen at some point. My kids are going to grow up. They're not going to want to be on YouTube. I don't know what will happen. I don't know what is going to make us end it in the end. But right now is the best job on earth. I love this job like you would not believe. Like I'm addicted. I'm a workaholic in this job. Like oh, cool. I just want to make videos. I have a list of videos I want to make. Like it's sitting down at night and editing is so relaxing and fun for me. But I love you guys. Like, like. There have been channels in my past, we're gonna make a video this week. There have been channels in my past that have made me feel like I am a big part of their family and I've connected to them in such a strong way that when they have quit, because two of them have actually quit, well one changed their format and one quit, it, even to this day, I still feel pulled toward them and I still feel lost without them and I never wanna do that to you guys. You hear that, Gabby? We can never give up on YouTube. She hurt her knee. So I totally know where you guys are coming from and I am so happy and amazed and shocked that anybody feels like that towards us. I've said it before, but back in the day when I used to watch a lot of vlogs and I wanted to, and I felt inspired, just like many of you guys are inspired to start channels right now, but back when I was in that spot, I always wished to have all the kids on our channel and all the you know, the people on our channel, and now we have all you guys, and it is so overwhelming. Lena Lee Anderson, this young girl who just comments, I love Chino, almost on every single vlog. Like, just the sweetest girl, or life with horses. She is this fan account, she holds a fan account for us, and she's just so super supportive and kind, and yeah, if she thinks we do something wrong, she'll call us out on it. Even though she loves us and supports us, she never just accepts what we do. She um, she inspires me always to do better. There are so many more of you guys. Sandy, who has been our earliest follower ever. There's a guy who just started um, commenting again recently named Augustus Green, and he was one of our very first subscribers ever as well. There are so many of you guys that fill my heart with joy every single day, and I can't even imagine my life without you guys. So don't worry, we are not about to give up. I don't want that for us, I don't want that for you. I'm just so grateful that you guys watch us and spend time with us each day. So I just want to say thank you. Now Gabby, let's get to work. All right, there's, we, our puppy is defective. Take a look at this puppy. Do you notice a problem? One ear up and one ear down. Down syndrome. Just down syndrome. Up syndrome and down syndrome. <laughs> Did you know that there's a um, syndrome that you can have, but it makes you just smarter? Oh, I want that syndrome. I do not have that syndrome. I'm as far away from that syndrome as you can get. She has up and down syndrome. That's what she has. You have up and down syndrome, Molly. 
what you guys may what you guys might not see about Molly is that she is a very sensitive puppy. If Gabby tells her not to do something, she's like, "Oh my goodness, I'm so sorry." Like, she's, ah, 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 ah. see, she's like, "What, Mama? What is it? What do you want me to not do?" She has to have a bath. Yeah. So let's get her stuff in so we can give the puppy a bath because she was a farm puppy today. She was digging. Oh, sorry. She was digging. The eyebrows. I love those eyebrows. You've got the cutest eyebrows. Here. Somehow, somehow I, <laughs> somehow I feel like you hit me with it. Not to be gross, but that is a lot of pee, Sophia. Holy cow. Gabby uh, finished watching Riverdale and she's back to watching Grey's Anatomy. Oh, um, you guys might have seen that this morning Miss Molly got into a fight with a mud puddle. So Gabby gave her a bath and she's recuperating from that stressful situation. She's not in love with it. You don't ever use soap for her because um, we don't want to dry out all the natural oil on her. We will one day when she's a little bit bigger if she needs to, but we try not to give her too many baths. And no soap. Um, are you eating your Pringles? Yeah, I'm going to eat my Pringles. Oh, I was going to split them with Gabby. Oh, that was really kind of you to eat my Pringles. You're welcome. You should check out your face. And well, this is going to be a slow process. Definitely a couple inches off. I'm excited though. Are you still putting it together? Yeah. I brought you a chair. You want a chair? Yeah. If you were somebody new watching this video, you wouldn't even know that we had horses because I don't even think we showed them for a second other than the horse trailer. We've accomplished so much on this long weekend, it amazes me. We have, Sam's cut all the grass. We took our horse on an amazing trail ride. We set up a pool. We made so many fun videos. We slept, we went camping in our horse trailer, slept outside, had a fire, roasted marshmallows, took our ponies for a nice trail ride down the road. If you think that was a lot of stuff in one long weekend, wait till you see what I have planned for next weekend. We'll see you guys later.